When a bearing Duonyichi was barely a year old, she was struck with an illness that paralyzed both her legs. Still, she got an education, earned a linguistic degree, and now works for the Abuja government. But Iberindu says Nigeria and disabled women are subject to sexual violence. Many times when um, some of us are in a relationship, um, <laughs> these guys tend to take advantage of us. You know, I, I think um, sex is supposed to be uh, something I consent to. You don't force me to do it. You don't try to use the, the strength of a man to try to take it. But unfortunately, that's what many of us suffer. Women and girls with disabilities in Nigeria are three times more prone and vulnerable to gender-based violence than their able-bodied counterparts, according to a non-profit activist group. They also find it harder to seek justice because of stigma and bias due to their condition. Most times they are not believed. Irene Patrick of the Disability Rights Advocacy Center, or DRAC, is helping women and girls with disabilities get better access to justice. Nobody believes that, oh, as a person, as a woman with a disability, you were raped because of the societal nation that notion that um, women with disabilities are not sexually attractive. So nobody can actually desire them enough to rape them. So we found that this uh, is preventing them from getting access to justice because not only do they not want to report anymore, even when they, are, they report, nothing is done about it, and in some cases, they are actually ridiculed. Nigeria signed its Disability Rights Act into law about a year ago, but activists say ignorance, lack of access, and poverty remain barriers to justice for Nigeria's disabled women. Emmanuel Adedeji of the Nigerian Bar Association pledged his group's support at a recent meeting. I think this meeting will be an eye-opener to every one of us to know the provisions of the laws prohibiting discrimination against uh, persons with disability, which was recently passed into law after several years of ratification by Nigeria. Uh, the Nigerian Bar Association will be willing afterwards from today to be part of any initiative to protect the rights of persons with disability. Until matters improve for women with disabilities, organizations like DRAC say they will provide a safe place for them to fight for equal justice. Timothy Obiezu for VOA News, Abuja.